Jason Residlow reporting from the 2011 SAE World Congress. And coming up, we're going to take you on a test drive of the Honda FCX Clarity fuel cell vehicle right here on AmericaJR.com. Well, this is a FCX Clarity hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Um, the electricity comes from the 100 kilowatt fuel cell stack, which is under your right elbow. Uh, it's very compact. Go, go ahead, and you go through. And uh, it's a 100 kilowatt electric drive motor, a dedicated platform fuel cell electric vehicle uh, built on a limited production assembly line. Um, holds four kilograms of hydrogen, which is equal to four gallons of gas. Gets uh, 60, EPA rated at 60 miles per kilogram, which is like 60 miles per gallon. Mm. And uh, 240 mile EPA certified range. All right. So how would you fill it up? How long would that take? It takes about five minutes to refuel. Um, pretty straightforward. Let's go to the right here. You'd have to have some special uh, device at home to fill it up? Or how no, it public refueling stations. Um, there's a, about uh, six or eight our customers can use today in Southern California. And we just received funding for 11 new stations from uh, government entities. Uh, are there any over here in Michigan? There's one in Southfield. We'll, okay. We've been refueling there. Do you want me to be in the left? I, I think do it exactly what that car did. Okay. I don't know why this one's sitting here. And then go left onto the freeway. There you go. Stay right all the way. Every corner is right. What are some other differences from this model to, I guess, a standard model or standard Honda? Yeah, there is no standard model. This is a dedicated fuel cell electric vehicle um, designed and engineered to be that. Under the hood is the electric drive motor, so you couldn't fit an internal combustion engine in there. But is like the interior different from a normal at all? Yeah, this is similar to, a, for example, an Acura TL uh, layout, somewhat like a cord. But that's about it. Do you know the price of it? We lease the car for $600 a month uh, in a limited program in Southern California where there's hydrogen stations. We're gonna go left two lanes over when it's clear. Right here, and one more. One more. Do you know how many are being produced per year? Um, we're matching the production to the growth of hydrogen stations, which has been a little bit slow, so that's uh, held us back a bit. Um, again, we're working with the different companies on 
you know, improving the technology at the stations, like multiple dispensers and multiple hose dispensers. So we can end up with uh, more than one. Keep going or which way? Yeah, so you'll go straight to Cobo Hall. Okay. And then you'll go right. Okay. Got GPS and everything. GPS with voice activation, you could say find nearest hydrogen station and it would pop them up. Uh, we programmed those in uh, where the for the convenience of the customer. Will they work right now? Um, it would. So uh, let me turn on the uh, audio. Oh, Okay. So, yeah. So with your, imagine shooting a gun with your left trigger finger, that's where you'll find the knob to activate the voice command. And uh, pull it once and then just say, find nearest hydrogen station. What do I gotta pull? Uh, imagine pulling a trigger with your left finger so right here? Uh, no, no. On uh, holding your wheel, and just below, a little lower, and uh, reach out. You'll see two buttons. Oh, which one do you? Yeah, the upper one. Oh. Okay. And then just say, uh, do it again, and say, find nearest hydrogen station. Find nearest hydrogen station. Please select the number of the correct place in hydrogen station category or say nearest. So you could pull it again and say yeah. nearest. Nearest. Would you like to calculate a route to Shell, Washington, D.C.? <laughs> That's the nearest. Let's go to the. <laughs> pull it and say yes. Yes. So, um, we've programmed right into it. Right turn ahead, then next left turn. We put in the stations that are relevant for the customer. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't have the one that's outfield. That's right, because oh. it's a limited access, kind of, you know, for automakers and others. Take the next left turn, then next slight left turn onto 10 North. Well, like if you went to hold 240, you'd be in you'd be in trouble then, wouldn't you? Well, typically, you know, and I mean this, you know, seriously, we don't drive cars till they stop. So EPA rating of 240 mile range, real world, take the center lane, uh, real world people are doing 200 to 220. Um, I can regularly, as do customers, exceed the 60 mile per kilogram take fuel the economy. Take slight left turn onto 10 north. So you'll just go straight, straight to the, to yeah. the right. And I'm gonna turn off the uh, audio. But like, let's say, you know, you were going on a trip or something and then would, if, would AAA or something be able to fill it up a little bit so you could get to a station or no? no. So there would be no way to, like... Basically, you don't fail. We interview customers and talk with them prior to leasing the car to make sure that they're operation is going to match the vehicles so it's not casual at this point in stage at point in time mainly for going to work not for vacations right we talk to them about you know their daily routine their weekends and make sure they understand that this car is not something they can take on a cross-country trip you know it's not part of the equation